Greetings, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I feel like that should be our little intro from now on. But this vlog is a bit of a different vlog today. I'm not going to be getting on a horse. There's no horses in this vlog. But it is an event planning and highlighting our goals little 10 minutes so if you're new to this channel hello i'm natasha crapper um i do everything on this channel called natasha crapper eventing i event my mum's 16 to mare and this season the season 2024 we have qualified for badminton grassroots the youngest rider ever to qualify we think we have yet to have that confirmed by British eventing. I'm definitely one of the youngest, basically. We have a busy, busy season this year, and it's already underway. We've just got our new lorry. Um, we've done the Cotswold Cup Winners' Day with Oliver Townend and Laura Collett. Uh, we did the Howden Way training, and we have a few more things planned. I think I'm just gonna get into it and then I'll explain a bit how you can qualify for championships and qualify for grassroots and what's the best way to get into eventing a bit later on. So first things first, next week is half term. Well, I say next week, it's Sunday now. So the week after next week, it's half term and we have a busy one so arena eventing at west wilts we're going to do the 90 and the 100 all of these i think i will vlog so you will definitely if you're watching this let's say it's september now which it isn't it's february if you're watching this in september then these vlogs probably will be out <laughs> it's a bit of a confusing concept starting off we have arena eventing then, also in half term, we have a combined training at West Wilts. You'll see a bit of a pattern here. We go to West Wilts all the time uh, for event season prep and for eventing. Truly the day after the combined training, uh, we have a Lark Hill uh, cross country. Oh no, Margaret is coming in. We have a Lark Hill cross country training session with a big five-star eventer it's also being filmed by the bbc because they want to do bbc south today so if you're in the southwest or the south of england then you will see me in a couple of months time on telly being trained by this big five-star eventer on the run-up to badminton grassroots and i'm not so sure we're doing this because it's a lot of things in half term but on the 18th we might go to show jumping at west wilts again uh just for another little jump then a week after this we have the nsca qualifiers at west wilts just another course and then this is an exciting week because the 28th of february marks the 10 week countdown until badminton so a few days ago we hit the 100 day countdown and then we'll hit the 10 week before the end of february which is coming around so fast ah! mum does all of this for me so big shout out to mum then we've entered literally last night mum signed me up for be this season british venting uh under 18s south west with British Fenting and she also sounds flow up so that means we're ready to get entering stuff and we entered Tweedledown 100 as our first event of the season which I'm really excited about it's on the Saturday not the Saturday the 9th uh, and then on Monday we're not sure we're gonna do this or not there's arena eventing but that's quite a lot uh, and then next weekend the weekend after that there's morton the 100 under 18 which our big aim of the season this year is to get in the 100 under 18 team for southwest that's a big fingers crossed that's 
So last season we had our main aim to get to badminton grassroots and we did that, which is like a dream, along as like eight other championships, which we only got to go to five and we placed top ten in four. Which, and I'm obviously very aware that things like this never go to plan. Like our event season last year was just, it never happens like that. So I'm just fingers crossed that we will get most of these in uh, and not many things will be cancelled. And of course we're able to get there and Flo stays down and like I don't die. That's always a possible thing. I'm gonna skip through the next bit all the way up to badminton because I can. Show jumping 100 West Wilts on Sunday the 24th of March. Then we go into April. I'm really sorry I'm looking like this and we've had to like change the scene but we've had a change of plan. Instead of what we thought mum was going to take Flo to Waverton when I was on a holiday, I think that was the 6th and the 7th of April. Instead of that, before I go on holiday, on the 2nd and the 3rd of April, I'm going to go to a Tweezle Down under 18 bridge venting training camp. Um, so that should be really fun. I can't wait to do that. And I, I feel really bad for taking mum's space at Waverton when she hasn't evented in so long. But mum's assured me that she will possibly get another run in on flow this season and that she was only doing it for our plans before badminton to give Flo another run. Anyway, I've talked for far too long. Let's get on with this vlog. SEG Goring, 100. Then, badminton grassroots in May. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to get to badminton. This is so, such a surreal thing. I can't thank my mum enough and Flo and all of my trainers and everything, but mainly my mum, Saint. Then we give her three weeks off, nice little break before we get out eventing again with the Blindly Heath under 18, 100. Then in June, we have Berkshire College of Agriculture. I'm really sorry if I said that's wrong, sorry. Uh, that's the under 18 100 and then the Farley Hall under 18 100. For the under 18 teams, you had to submit three of your best results in a under 18 at your selected height and it goes into a league table and if you're top 10 in this league table, then you get to go to the under 18 championships. So there's quite a big competition in the 100 this year, but I'm hoping that I will be able to get on the team. I also forgot to mention that you do have to register with BE to be in this under 18 squad and you also have to register as an under 18 in your selected region um, so you just go onto the British Venting website and you have a look on how you can register I don't know how to do it because mum does it for me thanks mum and in July we have Tweezledown 100 um, and the Hannah Francis 100 the next weekend. I love the Hannah Francis event. It was my first ever event on Charlie, my old little pony. And I actually got so nervous that I threw up before the show jumping and I had to withdraw. Later that month, we have Daunty Park 100. I love Daunty Park. It's an amazing venue, like West Wilts. Speaking of the West Wilts venue, we're doing the BE100 in August. Then our next event is the One Star at Wellington, which <laughs> would be super cool. Sorry. Say hello to Margo. Later that month, we have a question mark next to the SUG at Carmsden. That's the weekend of the 31st of August and then going into September. Margot, stop making a noise. Then the weekend after that, we have Goring Heath 105. That's quite cool. Just before we compete at our first novice at West Wilts. I love West Wilts so much because we did our first 90 hunter trial there. 
2022, like August, no, not August, like October, when I first started riding flow a little over a year ago. So it's crazy to see how far we've come. And we did offer, we did the BE90 there last season. And then my first 100, there's the photo. Sorry if there wasn't a photo there, but I hope there was. The weekend after that, which if you haven't been keeping track, is the 21st and 22nd. We have the SEG Championships at Jaunty Park. This is with horse events, which is quite cool. Then... We have two weeks off and then Osberton with one star. Now, actually, I am convincing mum to maybe let me do the two star. If our novice and 105, the ones we've done before, go well. Now, I know that's quite fast, but it would, it's, oh, I really hope we can do that, but one start is in our plan right now i guess we'll see how we get on throughout the season then after that we have tweezer down 105 and then ending the season last weekend in october which is the 27th morton morel novice now it's a busy season like i said and i can't wait to get cracking we've entered our first event <laughs> i'd be like saying to mum 24 7 oh, i can't wait to go out eventing oh i'm really missing cross country and i can't express that enough i miss it so much okay, basically my goals for this season is to have a really nice time at every event vlog for you guys and yeah have a lot of fun and at least at least three events not fight with mum which i think three is a bit pushing it but i think we can do that i can do that it's me in the dressage so sorry there's a change in scene we move i was also going to mention how you can get into eventing how you can qualify for championships and how you can qualify for grassroots obviously I started eventing through my mum. Thanks, mum. She sat right there, but she doesn't want to be on camera. Um, so, mum evented flow beforehand a lot at 100. You can look on their record, actually. <laughs> and Don't you laugh at my record. <laughs> um, so, that's how I got into eventing. But you can do it through your pony club if you were under 25. Um, because that offers you training, um, you have areas, they usually like tell you what events there are in your area and you can find a lot through Pony Club Friends as well. So that's fun, you can also qualify for a lot of their championships, they do like tech triathlons so you can really find what works best for you and what you enjoy the most. But there are other ways if you're like above 25 and you want to be into eventing there's margot margot no 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 yeah great sorry mum's just ran after margot with this squeaky boy ball anyway the unaffiliated things near you so the cotswold cup is near us southwest um they do a lot a lot of really lovely venues and they have a brilliant championship which is a lovely aim i always find it really easy to have a i find it really good to have a clear aim oh no it's better to have a like a clear purpose for your event season basically so their championship is great also we check out the horse events they do school of question games stuff but also they do their own unaffiliated events um and they have a brilliant championship at the end of the season i guess which we did list in this vlog please check those out now moving on to grassroots basically if you come top 20 percent in any b 
BE90 or BE100, then you qualify for the regionals, um, the regional qualifiers. So let's say you're in a section, at, let's use Westfields, um, and there's like 40 people in your section. Top 20% in that section would qualify so that the top eight would qualify for the regional qualifiers. If you cup come top 20% at the regional qualifiers, then you are automatically qualified for grassroots. Um, that's how most people do it. And if you are qualified for the regional qualifiers, then you only get one shot. You can't like go, well, I didn't qualify at this regional qualifiers, so I'm going to enter the next one. You can't do that. That's not how we did it. We went to Bicton three day event and the top 10% qualified there, but they have now moved it to top 20%. So we came 12th out of 100 and 10 starters. So the top 10 qualified when it was 10%, but then when they moved to 20, the top 20 qualified. Your maths is good. Out of 110, it was the top 11, and then 20% would be 22. I think it was 22 that qualified. <laughs> I've heard so many good things about Baddington Grassroots and I can't wait to go and compete. We're going to blog it all of the ins and outs and everything about competing there and our reviews and literally prepping everything for you guys and our whole season. So stay tuned for this. Please remember to like and subscribe and Check out my Instagram and my TikTok at natasha.crapper.eventing. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. See you next time.